Thank you, folks, for tuning in to watch another episode of Indudu by Fafa, the channel of creative cooking. So as part of the chicken series, the first episode centered on whether to wash or not to wash your chicken. The second one was me making my brine, which is an African Caribbean inspired brine. Yes. And now we have the chicken that's been sitting in this brine for eight hours. So the next recipe is what I will term or call the roast. Yes, absolutely. Now, if this is your first time, you're welcome. Thank you very much for tuning in. And please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification button whilst you're here. So let's start.
So at this point, I had a glass of Prosecco that I was enjoying whilst cooking. And of course, I had my meditative music in the background whilst you know, cooking as well. So I'm sort of sharing that sort of mood and experience with you guys. So yes, in the absence of your Prosecco, you can use your white wine, not a problem. And if you're in Ghana, you can use palm wine instead. So it's a win-win situation. And of course, I'm still inserting this bad girl, but of course I've got to bake this in the oven for 20 minutes at 180 degrees. Now, of course, I need to steam my carrots. So I've got my steamer and I'm doing my own little shenanigans there. Yes, because of course, I have to make sure that it does fit into my saucepan, hence the snip. And I'll cover this. This should just steam for about six to seven minutes so that it's al dente and perfect. And I found two cloves of garlic so I had to add to the carrots because there's no waste in my kitchen. So after 20 minutes, this is what your chicken would look like. Now, I did place it in the oven uncovered for that 20 minutes for it to brown. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my chicken over because I want the breast to soak into the juice of the chicken, right? And so I turn it over this way. And this is my little trick that ensures that I do have a perfectly moist chicken breast when I do my Sunday roast. Now, of course, I've got my butter and I'm just smearing that on top whilst I actually scoop some of the you know, chicken juice that has actually come through. And um, yeah, just doing my shenanigans. Now to avoid washing more pots and pans, I tend to use my pair of scissors in carving my chicken, particularly when the chicken is nice and moist and it just breaks away beautifully. It makes it easier. Now this chicken has been marinated in the brine that had the old spice, black pepper, corn, bay leaf, tarragon, salt and sugar. I'd leave a link in the description box so you can watch the two episodes so far. One was about whether to wash your chicken or not. And of course, the second episode centered on the brine and infusing this with flavors. Now, you notice that I did use the whole cloves of garlic unpeeled, which is just beautiful. And that flavor has also infused into the chicken. I did prune my neighbor's um, lavender again and I added a few sprigs of lavender in there. So that just makes this chicken so nice and beautiful in terms of flavor. Of course, this makes it easy. I'm not going to throw this away. I would leave it and use it for mm, stock. Yes, because I have got the skins of the onions and garlic and the carrots and I will be using that in making my beautiful stock. Nothing goes to waste in this kitchen. Now I've seen my quartered onions. What I'm going to do is add some color to these. So of course I've got my griddle pan ready and I've just placed the onions and the garlic as well as the shallots in there. But look at the ease that I'm able to just dislodge the whole bone thing it's like easier yes <laughs> no mess here at all now to my loyal subscribers thank you very much for holding this together i appreciate each and every one of you and if you haven't subscribed yet please do now do not forget to like the video as well if you like what you've seen so far so yes now you know how to make your chicken jet.
Unanoninko. And I'm talking about browning. This is what I meant about it. Um, because yes, the onions and shallots, they're all onions anyway, the shallots are the big round things over there. Um, they already cooked and nice and soft and I'm just caramelizing it a little bit so it gives it that caramel flavor and sweetness as well and that's just beautiful and the garlic also just gets that little toast yes <laughs> and now let's serve and I've got a little surprise at the end because this looks like a normal Sunday roast maybe but yes I've added my own heritage to it yes Abanuka. When you do the Kenya alone, do the by far, far, and ye And here we have the pierce that is a stance. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you are inspired to try the recipe. I'd leave the transcript of this recipe including the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubaifafa.blogspot.com so do check it out. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat as in Fafa. so do pass by and say hi. Norel, thank you very much for my theme song and please do not forget to leave your comments below and what you think about this recipe. Until I see you in my next video, please take care of you, be nice, be beautiful, be a gorgeous self, and I love you for you. Thank you very much for watching.